Hello everybody, this is Johns Hopkins with Baltimore Heritage and we're back with another of our 5 Minute Histories videos. And today I'm on Cathedral Street in the Mount Vernon neighborhood and I'm inside the Maryland State Medical Society. Um, it's been here, been here for over 100 years. Um, if you're like me, you've probably gone to the Meyerhoff dozens and dozens of times and this building is just across the street. You've probably passed it without giving it too much mind. Um, but who knew inside here, this group got its start in 1799. That's just 11 short years after we, the disparate states, formed our more perfect union. The Constitution was ratified in 1788. 11 years later, we got our state medical society. Um, I'm pleased today to be joined by Meg Fielding, um, who's with MedKai here. She's uh, the state's uh, medical historian, if you will, uh, here at MedKai. And uh, she, you might know her from that role. You might also know her from her many online uh, blogs and postings on Baltimore's architecture. We've had her as a speaker a couple times on our Friday afternoon uh, lecture series. So you might know her from there as well. And I'm thrilled she's gonna join us. But before I turn it over to Meg, let me just say a few words about where we are. The Medical Society is officially known as MedCHI. That's medical and chirurgical. Try to say that 10 times fast. Chirurgical, incidentally, is uh, from the Latin root for surgical. Maybe people butchered it so much over the years they changed it to just surgical. Uh, but at whatever, in 1799, the medical folks and the chirurgical folks got together and they formed this group, uh, and this is what they said their purpose was. It was to prevent quackery and pretenders in the medical arts. Back then, if you held yourself out as a doctor, you didn't need to do too much or have too much training. You certainly didn't need to go to medical school. In fact, the University of Maryland Medical School, the fifth oldest in the country, wasn't established until eight years after MedKai was established, 1807. So let's take a quick look at what MedKai has done over the last uh, 200 plus years. We're gonna break it down by centuries. So in the first 100 years, here are a few things they did. One is they established the University of Maryland Medical School, 1807. They went on to establish the first dental school in the world, um, the University of Maryland School of Dentistry today, that was 1839. They established the College of Pharmacy, that was 1857, uh, today's University of Maryland uh, School of Pharmacy. And in 1892, they started licensing physicians. So no more quackery in the medical profession in Maryland after that. All right, that's the first 100 years. How about the second 100 years? I wanna focus on two things in particular. One is thanks to MedKai, we have CPR, that life-saving technique that has helped so many people uh, for so long around the world. Now, to be fair, the components of CPR had been around for a while. As early as the 1500s, doctors in Switzerland were using little tiny bellows to blow air into patients' lungs to help them revive. Um, and by the 1870s, doctors in Germany were doing experiments on cats using chest compressions, which apparently had some, uh, did some work there and uh, helped the cats revive. But it wasn't until 1960 at a meeting here at MedKai that two papers were presented. One on artificial respiration, the modern equivalent of the little bellows, and two chest compressions. And then the light bulb went on and people began to realize that combining those two uh, made for a much more powerful life-saving technique and the world has benefited ever since. And finally, uh, this building here, it was built in 1909, MedKai built it in 1909, and it is deceptively large. It has got an enormous meeting hall. It's got the wonderful sweeping marble stairs behind me with a leaded glass skylight above, and it's got a library of 50,000 volumes. It also has a stacks, a library stacks, um, that we might hear a little bit more about uh, that some say is haunted by a friendly librarian uh, named Marcia Noyes. Um, so that's the building where we are now. Next door in the 1970s, MedKai bought the former public school 49 from Baltimore City for the whopping sum of $1. Apparently Baltimore City didn't want to run public school 49 anymore. And so since the 1970s, MedKai has had these two wonderful historic buildings um, in its Mount Vernon campus, if you will. And with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Meg uh, to share a little bit more about what's going on at MedKai. Meg, we're all yours. Hi, I'm Meg Fairfax Fielding, and I'm the head of the History of Medicine in Maryland here at MedKai. And as John's mentioned, we've been around for almost 225 years. One of the best parts of my job is getting to organize and show off the things 
in our archives. And I'd like to share two of my favorites with you today. First of all, we have a significant art collection, which is all around here, um, with pieces from the seven, late 1700s to the mid 1960s, with artists as diverse as Rembrandt Peel and Stanislav Remsky. Um, around me here are some of the founders of the organization, the 101 of them who got together in 1799 to organize the faculty, as it was then called. My other favorite thing is the building that we're in, which was designed by Ellicott and Emmert in 1909. And as John said, it includes this beautiful marble staircase, a leaded glass skylight, and a secret apartment that was home to Marsha Crocker Noyes, who was our librarian from 1896 to 1946 and she lived and worked here for 50 years. And we think she's still around today because some of us have had encounters with her. There's evidence that she never left the building and if you ask people who work here, they will be happy to tell you stories of their encounters with her. Each year, the History of Medicine Committee sponsors a History of Medicine lecture and it's gonna be later in the spring and um, if you look um, on our website, you'll be able to find more information about it. And if you want to find more information about the things that I find and the history of medicine in Maryland, just Google MedCHI archives and you'll find out what's new and what's old and all the things that I've found.